What is up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I was uh, doing a, a song called Boom Boom Boom. Na, 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 na. I don't know. I, that's what I started out with the other intro. That's that was kind of cringe. Nah, that no, wasn't cringe. It was cringe. It was cool. But yeah, what's up, guys? S D F Season Three versus Ribbit. Rivet. Rivet. I just said Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit, bro. Yeah, but uh, we had a, we had a good game. Um, I kind of try to prep kind of hard for it. I kind of bring the same squad. <laughs> But I'm, you know, I just change it up. I change the movesets up, and yeah, it was a lot of fun for sure. Um, I want to show the uh, what we had going on for with, uh, with uh, you know, our teams. These are my, these are our teams. I'm trying to do it a little bit fast. I usually take it a little bit too long, but yeah, this is my team: Zoro, Dragonite, Cinderace, Spectre, Sylveon, uh, Steelix, Mega, Milk Tank, Weezing, Arachnoid. Persian Alola and Gloom and his is Victini, Primarina, Raikou, Crobat, Umbreon, Rizian, Glagger, Dragon, Dredagon, Bennett Mega, and Melmetal. The Melmetal, man, his team has been doing so good. He's been like averaging 4 0 his opponent. So I was like, oh my god. I had I had tech. Uh I had I thought I was gonna do okay again, but then his Melmetal, he kinda the way he was playing it, I, I was expecting Trick Room. Um, but the way he was playing it, he just wanted to like go in and, and go for power. So definitely choice bend, uh, which which I was expecting. Um, let's go into the battle. I'm not trying to uh, make it too long, but other than that, I I guessed his team and I knew he was gonna bring Crobat. So it was either like um, when I I did a, li a little mock with my cousin. Um, uh, we did Mega Bonnet. And because this team is so good, you had to. We he went with Mega Burnett, but I knew it was going to be Crobat. I had a feeling because Crobat, Crobat did so well in his team, and the, and the speed tier, you know, was really you know matched the other speed tiers of my of his Pokemon. I think he expected Spectre to come out, it didn't come out. So yeah, um, we we're going to the wrong way. I just want to make sure that we're recording. All right, two from fourteen. That's when we got that. All right, so then let's start the match. Let's start the match, and uh, you know. Um, I led with Persian Alola because regardless of what he led with, if Crobat or whatever he led with, I was able to get a parting shot off pretty easy peasy. Let me squeezy. All right, so let's play. This time I'm not uh, deafening my ears. So yeah, as I predicted, I didn't know why he just switched out. He, that was super smart of him actually. That first move he did, because his Victini was. I, I was thinking about if it was a choice fan or, or spark and I wasn't really sure so let's go a little bit slow yeah so he just trying to test me out I think he was also trying to test out if I was banned but protect definitely gives him that thing that uh, uh you know banned or scarf so he just kind of was trying to like stiff that out but I, I you know you can still go I want to sit and play the same way now I wanted to put the steel at the stealth rocks here because I know uh, I know that Selfrox puts pressure on the team, so um, I swear he expected it. He said he expected it, so not a not. But then I was like, all right, right here, I'll take the, I'll take the, I'll take the exchange. I'm okay with it, because if I change the exchange, then you know I get a, I get some chip damage. So there, we both switched out, we both doubled out, and here. Uh, I got the knockoff because I was trying to see if it was the Glagger, you know, it was okay. What else could I do at that situation? Taunt. And here's the thing, when we talked about it, he just wants to, uh, wants to uh, sack it. He wanted to sack the Umbreon, which I was just like, what's going on, man? So he foul played me. I should have known there. Like, I think he, I thought he, maybe he was going to predict that, that I was going to come out. I just left the stealth rocks out. I didn't want to. I didn't body press because I, yeah, I just felt like that was gonna give more pressure. So there, that was a big. I think that's probably cost me the match, to be honest. If I look back on it, it cost me the match because, um, yeah, dude, like that right there. Cinderace led to um, he creates, or it was really close. I, I could do. The, I mean, I'm not gonna show the calc. Um, both of them was like between 45 point to 45 to. Um, 49%. So let's see these little last two. I wasn't really paying attention. All right, he's just trying to s smell out the like if I, if it's a bandit or if it's scarfed. I mean, obviously it's one of those two, and I think he wanted to test it out. But I, I still am going to go with the U-turn. So um, there we go. 
Mazera. Obviously, he doesn't. He's he, it's booze. So, yeah, the boots were really good up for him. So that's good. Right there. That's. If I made a mistake, he made a mistake there. So one for one, right? Here is where I should have killed it, and I didn't. I should have went for the freaking uh, close combat or something, or, or play with. I, I don't remember what I had. Um, Jesus, that's where I freaking threw it, cause I, I was definitely expecting the switch. So then right there, he just gets it for free, and then yeah, now I can't I can't go for the knockoff because it's gonna give me it's gonna give him like a full set of health back. Here. I mean, I could have, but I mean, he still let it go. And then the U-turn does a lot of damage there, enough to to kill it with Victini if he wanted to. So that, this is where we see the U-turn. Yeah, so that's I knew it was Scar. So right there, I, I was I was feeling right here six, my, but I might have been five zero. I was like, man, what can I do now? Um, version of Lola, he didn't expect that. I mean, he told me it was good. I mean, it has it's nasty drop, so you know. He can set up if he wanted to. So yeah, there I knew he was gonna go for the defog. Ooh, nice. I didn't see them say anything. I took a little while because I needed to win, and also I was doing calc because I needed to. I needed a good result. Um, I didn't kill him right there, which might might have been a kind of a bad move. Uh, he did a U-turn, <laughs> and everybody's like, "Oh, I only did the three three percent. I only did three percent." Like, yeah, I only did the three percent. It's like minus. It's like twice resistant and uh you know oh that was later so i just sacked the reckoning because i had nothing and now i'm like oh i'm in trouble because i couldn't second send race but i mean luckily i was able to get a uh, crowbat i was gunshot you know that was luck right there that was luck right, there. right here i don't know how i could play it differently you know i have to switch out dragon was but if you had ice punch it was dead. Now I'd have had nothing for it, huh? Wait, could I have gone to Lola then? Probably could have. Huh. At that point, a Lola doesn't do anything. At that point, a Lola doesn't do anything, so. Is this just a parting shot? I mean, what? Yeah. Oh, the U turn was the. Yeah. And he flips from right here. Okay, let me see right here. What could I have done right here? Okay, I killed it. Oh, he could have. Yeah, flip turn probably kills too. The same base. I'm not too sure. Probably does though. Would have been good if I stayed in. Let me let me check if I do a flip turn. Like no investment. I mean, let's see how that that does it. I think it kills to be honest. Here I just stack. Yeah. So at this point it's just over. But yeah, they were just surprised about the double iron bash. It, it survived that. Maybe I could have gotten a knockoff home. Huh? I mean, at, at that time, I, uh, uh, does it still live? I don't know. At that point, I think, I think I knock it off and do a parting shot and then what? And then I go to Dragonite and then Dragonite kills? I'm not too sure. But yeah, if, I, if my Cinderace was healthy, it would have would have stayed. But yeah, I can't really, I would probably have to count that out. I don't think it would have made much difference. I don't think I could have one-shotted it with a uh, with 252. Um, well, I don't know. We can see. Well, yeah, I got one minute difference and now. Now I have a mountain to climb because now I have to wait till everyone, everyone, uh, you know, everyone plays. Uh, there was three spots left, uh, for and four individuals can make it. So gonna be tough but yeah guys that's it i'm going to go and find that calc out i mean i guess we can find it out real quick real quick right now uh did i have my team here no i did not but i know there was 252 uh and look at how slow it is calc what are we calcing uh dragonite i'm pretty sure it wasn't adamant if it was we can do both earthquake yep what do we got? What do we got? Um, metal, metal. I, I don't think it does anything. Yeah, it doesn't kill it. At that point, did it? What was the... 
I mean, it's already in the past. I gotta go. We gotta, we gotta let that go, man. We gotta let that go, man. 45, yeah, that didn't kill. Let's go with it. Let's check that out. Oh, the knockoff did that much? It did a lot, 34. So maybe. Let's analyze that. I mean, what does I do? Like, that just, instead of there, I go into a. Uh, Instead of double iron brashing my my Dragonite to death, I go into Persian Alola, right? Everything else is dead. And then I go with Dragonite. I was able to get a knockoff out. Then he p potentially kills it, maybe. I'm not too sure. And then I go into my Dragonite. Then I can Earthquake. But then it's like, he, his, his, this is still alive. So it could it, it was still going to be a, you know, it could have, should have, would have. But it didn't happen. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. It was really fun. I need to make it into the playoffs. I don't want to run it too long anymore, guys. But yeah, take it easy, guys. Peace. Laters.